Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. I'm Matt Toms. Today we are looking at a song by Creedence Clearwater Revival called Have You Ever Seen The Rain? It's a really good strumming song. It's going to get your right hand moving. It's got a couple of simple but effective guitar lines in there, which is actually in the original version is done by the, the bass and I think maybe a piano as well. But we're going to do, as usual, the arrangement for everything on guitar. So the chords are very simple. We are playing A minor, F, and you'll actually see me a lot of the time, like in the intro there, playing an F slash C, which is basically your F major chord with the C note on the third fret of the A string added. So you move your third finger over onto that note on the A string and your pinky takes the third note D string instead. And then from there, it's actually just a small step to turn that into a full bar chord by moving your first finger to cover both E strings on the first fret as well as the B string on the first fret. So there's three ways to play your F. Regular F major, F slash C, and an F major bar chord. Take your pick. After that, there's a C and a G. And that's pretty much all we need for this song. One more chord, actually we're going to do a slash chord, which is written C slash B in this case. And what that means is that we play a C chord, but at the bottom of that chord, at the bass note, we put a B note. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our C chord and we're gonna move the C note on the third fret A string. We're gonna move it down to B. We're gonna use our second finger and keep our first finger on the B string first fret and just play it like that. Technically, you probably should really include that second fret D string in your C chord, so you can do that. But it's far easier, I think, to lift your finger off the D string and move it over onto the A string, so you can play it like that with just two fingers. So we're going C, C slash B. And then we move on to A minor and G. Okay, there are our chords. Now, the two little guitar riffs, they are in the first, the, the intro line. So on your downloadable one chart, which you should have in front of you now, in that first line, you'll find the, the first riff starts on the second fret G string. And I've made two versions as well. So if you're a notation reader, I've made a chart with these riffs in standard notation. And I've also made a chart in tablature as well for those who don't like to read standard notation. So the riff is basically this, it goes So two, starting on the G string, second fret, two, O, two on the D string, play the two on the D string again, go back to the open G string with this timing. And then land on the C. I think pretty much every time after these riffs we land on the C chord. So that's the first riff. Second riff starts on the first fret B string, go down to the open B string, second fret G string, open G string, and open G string again, and then land on the C. You'll notice the rhythm of the last couple of notes in the, both those riffs are slightly different to each other, so listen to them because they are slightly different and you need to get those right. First one. Second one. Practice those. Your first line, the intro, goes like this. And what we're doing is we're strumming pretty much the whole way through the, the song. The strumming is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Every now and then, what we do is we do a little now you don't need to do that, but, but if you listen to the song, they do that, especially right at the beginning. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Right? So that's how we start. Put that in anywhere you like. It generally comes at the very end of a bar. So it's like one, two, three, four. First riff, C, C, 
second riff. And then we're straight into the verse. So after you come out of that. Someone told me long ago. Now, you see those little symbols on the first line of your verse. A little kind of, it's almost like a divide by symbol. That simply means repeat the same as the last bar. So the C in the first bar of the verse, followed by a repeat of that bar and a repeat of that bar, you do four bars of C in total, and then you change to G. Someone told me long ago, there's a calm before the storm. G, I know, it's been coming for some time. Get to the end of that line, and we hit the repeat sign to that whole verse again. So the soul can say It'll rain a sunny day I know to J Shining down like water Now we hit the chorus Got an F I wanna know G Now here we go C C slash B A minor G Repeat that little section again I'll do it slowly F G. Here we go. C for two beats. C slash B for two beats. A minor for two beats. G. Move through the repeat sign this time. F. Coming down. Sunny day. Here comes the riff. Straight into the next verse. Yesterday and days. that verse we go till forever on it goes through the circle fast and slow I know it can't stop I wonder another riff now this time this is the one time we go to a different chord after the riff straight into the into the chorus so C slash B and A minor and G. Repeat. riff we did which started on the G string second fret and end on the C that's how we end the song so the difference between those two riffs is the very first riff we play in the song and the very last riff we play in the song is the one that starts on the G string every other riff that we play throughout the song is the one that starts on the B string As I said, the strumming, keep it as loose and even as you can. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and, and you'll be home and host. I hope you enjoyed that song. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know how you're going. Comments are always welcome. Uh, jump on over to the One Chart website. We're uploading new songs and charts every week, and we hope to see you there again soon. Thanks for watching.